Okay guys, long time no see. I have been MIA from the YouTube world, falling in love, being a little brat. What more can I tell you? So today, I thought, I actually filmed this video already before, a Korean corn dog video, and this spot is quite new to Toronto. I mean, it's predictable that one spot would open like this. Korean food in the last couple years has really taken off in Toronto more than it ever has in the years before it even the first koreans when they moved to toronto um moved to canada a lot of them actually opened up japanese restaurants and they snuck in a bunch of korean foods like bimbimbap and things of that nature onto the menu of these japanese restaurants because korean food just wasn't popping like that uh, back in the 60s so here we are in the 2020s and Korean food's popping off. Korean restaurants, just solely Korean restaurants. Korean people can open up just solely Korean restaurants here in Toronto. And that's a beautiful thing. Uh, Toronto has definitely become a lot more diverse than it was in the 90s or even early 2000s. It's definitely a lot better in, in the years before. So, I mean, growth within a city is inevitable, especially with a city like Toronto where there's so many multicultural people. So it's such a great, great thing to see. I mean the outskirts of Toronto still have some keeping up to do you know like Belleville, Alliston, all the places where people are f tipping over cows you know they still got some catching up to do in terms of multiculturalism but it is nice to live in a city such as Toronto where you know we're really up there in the acceptance of people and cultures and food and if and it's one thing for sure that brings people together it's always food bitches so today i'm in downtown toronto koreatown which isn't the koreatown that people highly regard or, or are excited to go to the koreatown up in north york that's just north of uh, toronto that's the area that people go to for a good time for korean food for korean grocery but it's nice that there's still a little Korea town here downtown because if you can't get uptown and you live in downtown, it's gonna do the job. So today we're gonna stick to downtown. We're gonna go to the Chun Chung. We're almost there. Okay, I just got here. It's off of Palmerston, off of uh, Bloor Street. Palmerston's a really nice street here in Toronto. They have really nice houses there. Um, we're in the annex, if I'm remembering that correctly. I still don't remember all the time the different areas within downtown you know how people you know, there's always different areas right so koreatown is located in the annex and chung chun this one that we're going to is off of palmerston so i'm headed there now yeah let's go but yeah if you guys remember my korean favorites video i talked a lot about yep duck here in toronto and i mentioned this location that's over here you see it and chung chun is right across from it but yeah, we're gonna go inside and order some food. I'm really excited. I'm gonna buy the box, if I'm not mistaken. I wanna get the box. <laughs> oh, and this here too. Okay, nice. So I will this here. Just ordered. This is like the little stand. They have a bunch of stuff here as well. Ordering. I actually like this one more than the North York one. This location? It's nicer. <laughs> There's a couple locations that I tend to like more than the other. So the Yepduck across the street, I actually like the one in North York better because the way they package it to go is more of like a Korean takeout spot in Korea opposed to the packaging they use at this one, which is like your typical Canadian Western black container clear top, which is like not exciting, it's not fun. And I don't know, I feel like when you're getting takeout, it should look really nice. It should be presentable in a way where it feels special. That's just my own personal opinion. This place I really like because they have all this side area that you can eat off of. Probably can't right now because of COVID, but nonetheless, they have this side area that you can eat, which is really nice. They have a lot more options at this location and everything is just like very aesthetically pleasing in this restaurant, which I really, really love. You kind of have like this, like hot style, which you find a lot in Korea, which I really love. Yeah, they have like this area over here where it looks like you can still eat or like at least wait, maybe not eat because of COVID. But you can like wait here, which is really nice. The entrance is super cute. And then the flooring, honestly, tile and blue. I don't know if it's my Greek in me, but I'm obsessed with tile and blue. So that's what their tiling looks like, which, I love it. I'm a sucker for tiles. It's definitely the Greek in me. Any Greek household I've ever been in, there's just fucking tiles everywhere. So that's, <laughs> so it's definitely the Greek in me, but 
Uh, yeah, I really like the tiling the way they did it. I think it looks really nice. Yeah, everything is super aesthetically pleasing in this restaurant and their freaking corn dogs are bang, bang, bang. They're so good. And they're gonna be selling topoki soon, which should be interesting. I would love to see how that tastes. They're definitely competing with Yuck Duck across the street, but you know, people gotta do them, so. Yeah, I don't know. I will check in when I get my food. <laughs> so, I am officially in the car. I just got here. And I have the food right here. Ooh, these look freaking good. Ooh. So these are all of our beautiful corn dogs here, as you can see. I have the chicken one to the far right, the mozzarella whole one in the middle, and then the one beside it, the squid ink one. That one is um, mozzarella and hot dog which it's beef and then the one just right beside it is beef hot dog and rice cake so yeah that looks super delicious oh geez we should go for honestly for me it's the cheese so okay and it has sugar on it Mm. Mm. So right now I'm kind of on a main street of Toronto. I'm on Bloor. There's quite a few different people passing by me and they're just staring at me like, what the heck? I kind of want to go for the chicken one. So this is covered in chicken. Well. So typically when you see one and have all the stuff on, on the outside, usually it's potato. This is chicken, fried chicken. On the outside, there's honey mustard and ketchup. This one's actually a little bit difficult for me to wrap my mouth around it because it's so big. I feel like this guy is good if you want a little extra meat, you know, because there's so much meat on the outside. I think I'm going to go in for... This one is the, again, honey mustard and... That's what it looks like without it, but honey mustard, mayo, spicy mayo, and ketchup. This one has on it. Without. With. <laughs> this one's also really big. They're all quite big hot dogs, to be honest with you. Um, 
but it looks really good. So I've had this one before. I actually really like it. It's a lot more chewier, which I, qu I enjoy quite a bit. Mm. We're gonna see the rice cake. You see that? These rice cakes have to be pretty fresh, I feel, for it to work. What I really love about these hot dogs in specific, like this brand of cream corn dog here in Toronto, the batter is like so crispy and yet so soft at the same time. It's a perfect amount of puffiness, perfect amount of dough risen in the middle, puffiness. <laughs> uh, and I really like this hot dog because it's like one bite hot dog, one bite rice cake, one bite hot dog, one bite rice cake. And that's the rice cake. Mm. My last one, saving the best for last. This is my favorite one, mostly because it's so cute. And I'm a sucker for anything cute, to be honest with you. Okay. This guy's super cute. Look at his little, his little thingies. <laughs> and it's squid ink. So if it didn't have the same thing, same condiments that the other one had, which is spicy mayo, ketchup, and honey mustard, it would look like this, just like that. And when we dress him up, Okay, and this is a mozzarella and beef hot dog, if I'm not mistaken. This guy here is obviously a very big fan of all of you because he's already taking his clothes off. <laughs> I'm kidding. That was a bad joke, actually. That was kind of a bad joke. It's a hot dog, okay? <laughs> mm. Okay, sir, put your clothes back on. <sighs> nope, he wants to stay pantless. Oh my God, you know what that reminds me of? You know Harold and Kumar? where it's not a topless party, it's a pantless party. He's like, hey, put your top back on. And everyone just has like no pants on. And there's that one guy with the really big bush. That's what that reminded me of. <laughs> Anyways, guys, I'm super full right now. If you're ever in Toronto, I highly recommend this spot for Korean corn dogs. It's the best spot in Toronto. There's a lot of different Korean places here in Toronto that sell pre-made korean corn dogs and honestly they're good but they're just not as good so if you're gonna get a korean corn dog you gotta do it from this spot here all of them are super delicious there's literally something for everyone and i personally really enjoyed it anyways i hope you enjoyed this video i love you so much sorry for being mia i got a lot to talk about in terms of me possibly quitting mukbang and kind of changing my lifestyle choices so we'll save that for another video i love you guys so much thanks for watching and until next time bye